Hello and welcome back to the channel. A while back I did a review video on the Krua Air rooftop tent. I wanted to do a follow-up video of how I'm liking the tent so far and since I purchased the tent Krua has added some accessories made specifically for the air that I wanted to show um, everybody and provide some feedback on and why I love it. Uh, so far I've used the tent about six times uh, since my last video and each time setup goes a little faster uh, and takedown goes a little bit faster. I'm absolutely still loving it. The, the bed is very comfortable. Uh, it's a good night's sleep. It's uh, sturdy. I've been through some heavy rain, stayed dry. I've been through some heavy wind and the tent didn't budge, uh, which was very nice. Um, and so overall very pleased with the tent so far um, and let me take you around and show you some of the accessories that Kura has made now specifically for the rooftop tent. So the first is the multi-functional awning. Uh, this awning can be set up in the down position as I have it here. Um, what's really nice is uh, when I go to bed at night I stick my firewood under here, I tuck my chair and table in, uh, to keep them out of the weather just in case it rains or keep them uh, dry uh, when the dew falls. Um, the tarp or the awning can also be set up in the up position. Um, I will insert a video here or some clips um, where I've set it up in the up position as well. I like it better down uh, just to keep everything dry, but it's also be is a nice shelter to sit under if it's raining um, and you want some outdoor workspace, uh, maybe put the picnic table underneath there. Uh, good option for keeping everything dry. The next accessory uh, that Kura has introduced is the anti-condensation mat that goes underneath the mattress um, to allow airflow underneath the mattress um, to avoid uh, buildup of moisture underneath. As you can see, I've got it inserted there. I didn't have any issues with moisture building up um, prior to adding the anti-condensation mat, uh, but I do leave the tent on the truck all, all the time, and so it's nice to have that added security to make sure that everything stays dry when I'm not using the tent. And then the last accessory that I've added here is the Krua Hall, uh, the, sorry, the Krua Cola Hall, uh, which is the insulated inner tent. And you can see that I've got it tied back a little bit, but the, the Cola Hall is designed to, sp to specifically fit this um, tent, which is nice. I had initially ordered the cola, uh, which fits inside the rooftop tent, um, but it doesn't maximize the space, which is um, uh, a little bit tight with the insulated tent inside of it, but still plenty of room for one person. Inside, I've got my bed set up. Last night was the first night I've used um, the insulated inner tent. It got down into the mid-30s here on the coast of North Carolina. Um, and I stayed very warm inside the tent. I will say that uh, the warnings on the tent say not to use any kind of heater inside of the tent. I do have a small 200 watt um, ceramic heater that I use to heat the tent. I turn this on um, when I get in the tent, I warm it up and then I turn it off before I go to bed. And then first thing in the morning, I turn it back on to warm it up. Uh, so getting out of my sleeping bag is a little bit warmer. The uh, cola hall has done a nice job of keeping the warmth in while I'm sleeping, even with the heater not running. Um, I've also added a little table, uh, for like a folding desk or lap desk, um, just to keep the heater steady, but I don't leave it running overnight um, just because of, I don't want to catch any of the, uh, melt any of the material or catch anything on fire while I'm sleeping in it. Um, but it, uh, has heated the space very nicely, kept me warm overnight. In fact, I have a down blanket and two sleeping bags. I ended up sleeping on top of both of the sleeping bags and just underneath the down blanket because I was so warm inside of the tent. So overall, still incredibly pleased with the Krua product. Um, I love that they keep adding accessories to make it a little bit nicer, you know, create an out outside space that I can work in, um, you know, um, add the insulated inner tent so now I can use the tent comfortably year-round uh, and the anti-condensation mat to keep it dry uh, and keep the, the product for a long time. So overall, still very pleased. I absolutely love this tent. I, one of my favorite features of this tent is the um, 
shoe bags on the tent, which keeps the shoes from coming inside, uh, which really cuts down in the tracking in of dirt. Also, I found that the built-in vents are very sturdy, allows for really great circulation of air. Even the uh, inner tent has uh, built-in vents. There are more on the sides that can be opened, but the ones on the top of the tent are uh, uh, completely open and, and don't close, so it allows for air to circulate in here, um, you know, avoiding uh, the buildup of condensation and also avoiding uh, suffocation. Um, huge fan of breathing, so I uh, don't want to cut off the ability to breathe. But overall, really great product. I highly recommend this tent. Um, I'm not sponsored by Krua. I did a lot of research uh, when I was looking to purchase a rooftop tent and landed on the, the Krua Air based on, on my research. If you have any questions about the tent or my experience using the tent, feel free to throw those questions down in the comments. Uh, my channel is pretty small, so any comment that comes across, I, I'm reading and I'm replying to. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I appreciate the folks that are watching my videos and enjoying um, you know, my adventures. I have a rather stressful job, and so it's nice to once a month get out and go camping, get away, and just enjoying being in, in nature and taking advantage of the beautiful, beautiful spaces that are around. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate everybody that subscribes. If you haven't subscribed and um, you know enjoy this content, please consider subscribing, and uh, I'll see you on the next adventure. Thanks. Bye.